Hi guys, good to have you all back. Look at what's on my desk. Beautiful uh, music paper. Now hopefully you've seen yesterday's video where I've shown you the big treasure that I found online. I bought about 50 mostly antique music books. And I took out a couple of these pages. All of them are different, different colors, different sort of, well, let's call them fonts. I don't know what it's called, but they all look a little bit different from one another. So I have all this music paper. What to do with it? Well, I think I have a plan. You probably also have some music paper. If not, guys, you can do this um, with, for instance, book pages different ones with different fonts on them different colors different sizes so if you don't have music paper and want to, cr uh, to craft along take out some beautiful book pages yeah as long as it is neutral let me tell you the plan i like to use music paper as well as book pages the beautiful older ones as sort of bases they make for a beautiful background they have something very interesting in the back but not like out there yeah so it's just it fades in the in the background so what i actually want to do is make bases with these bases for tags journal cards belly bands pockets envelopes you name it um, because i think music paper lends itself perfectly for any style that you're crafting in if you want to do something with mushrooms botanical nautical fairies frogs flowers Put a Tim Holtz doll on it. You name it. You can use this for basically anything. Uh, that is why I want to make, sort of do a mass make, make lots of bases. Tags, journal cards, probably some envelopes and pockets. You can keep them separately, sort of in a box. And when you want to decorate a, a pocket or a, a tag for a journal, take out one of the bases. So that's what I want to do. I'm going to make, mass make, hopefully, Lots of bases. As for the supplies and how to. Well, music paper. If you don't have music paper, guys, uh, try a book pages. Just something neutral. You can even use uh, neutral digitals if you have some. Now, music paper is very brittle. So I cannot start folding this uh, into pockets, envelopes or what have you. They need to be reinforced. So the idea is to make masterboards. I'm going to make two types of masterboards. Uh, one on less love scrapbook paper. I would never ever use this probably. And also on other paper. Now I'm using um, pages from an encyclopedia for this. But you can use magazine pages or another book page if you want to. Something that is foldable. Um, of course you can fold scrapbook paper. But if you're going to make an envelope it will be very sort of bulky. So for papers I'm using a less love scrapbook paper. Uh, music paper in this case, but you could also use book pages and then some less heavy paper, lighter paper. You could just use the copy paper if you want to. Um, for making it, well, very simple. I'm going to use glue and a ruler. You can use scissors, guys. I'm just going to rip some uh, pieces and make a collage masterboard using just glue stick. You can do this with other glue if you want to, but I'm just going to use glue stick. Um, for making the actual tags and such, I'm going to probably use my paper cutter. You can use scissors or what have you. I cannot do without my corner rounder. I have this as a template to make tag shapes. Yeah? But you can also have rounded tags if you want to. I think, I think I want to sort of minimalistically decorate them <laughs> at least a little bit uh, for example the tags i'm going to uh, punch a hole on the top you can use this a normal perforator that has two of these or your crocodile or what have you um i will ink them most of them just in a neutral color vintage photo i'll probably use an eyelet on the top of the tags Maybe even a very neutral topper. So I want to make these very neutral. I will decorate some of them. But I don't know with what yet. Let's let's just see. What I'm thinking guys. Um, for instance this page. It has a lot of blank space here. Yeah. But it's beautiful paper. I will not throw this away. So I'll probably take this off. And then stamp something on it. To make a small bits and bobs. And then... Um, Decorate the tags, journal cards, envelopes. What have you? 
I might take out, you know, some hardware or something. Don't know yet. But for the basis, for like the idea, you just need paper and glue. You just need paper and glue. Okay, that's it. Guys, let's start creating. I've already ripped some of them into smaller pieces, so they are a little bit more manageable. Um, but let me show you what I'm going to do with these, because this is fantastic, guys. I am not going to, you know, cut into this. I'm just going to take this off and make this into a piece that I'm going to decorate with. Carefully, because this is very old paper. See, already started um, to rip. Yes, same with this. Yeah, why not? I'm just going to take this off. And also, if you have a lot of um, sort of blank space, I'm going to just take this from this piece of music paper. Like with this one, yes, lots of blank space. Take it off. You could leave it there, but I'm going to take it off. Uh, why? Because I want to use this, because it's beautiful paper. Look at the discoloration on it. And there's a nine on here. Um, I'm going to stamp some something on it and use it as a decoration or do this. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just see. There. Oh, look at this paper. Yes. Well, this is completely falling apart. I'm just going to take this off carefully because this is extremely brittle. Yeah. And let's just do the bottom piece. Okay, keeping these. I already ripped lots. See? Keep them. Let's see if we can stamp something on it. Okay, let's start decorating. Guys, I'm taking out smaller pieces. You could do this like put on four pieces, but well, let's not. <laughs> let's just not. Um, also, I'm working with squares and rectangles, so not diagonal. But I am not keeping um, in mind that it's directional. So I'm going to have some pieces like this and like this and upside down and you know, or what have you, what have you. Let's see. So very easy, relaxing. Collaging. I'm getting dizzy from this paper. Are you getting dizzy, guys? I am. I am. There we go. There's one. Here's another one. It's, that is the piece is beautiful, but I do not want to have sort of this frayed edge on here. Careful, love. This is very old, very brittle. Actually, don't mind this. I'm just gonna overlap it like so. See, interesting. Just interesting. There we are. Another piece. We're gonna have this like so. Yeah. If that bothers you guys, do everything the right side up. No worries. Also, I'm not um, inking the individual pieces. I'm just going to ink the, the tags or the journal cards or the envelopes or whatever we are making. Oh, yes, the beautiful handwritten. Isn't that fantastic? Yes. Oh. It's actually hymns. Um, on here a big piece bigger piece or why not why not have a bigger piece like so sure I will also try to sort of alternate between the colors I have some darker colors some lighter colors just as long as it's neutral if you are doing this with book pages, guys, see if you have different languages and different fonts. That will make it interesting. Yep. Another piece. I'm going to have a smaller, longer piece. Because why not? 
do not want to cover the lovely handwriting here. Isn't that fantastic? It's so beautiful. If you have not seen the video, guys, I'm linking it below. It's yesterday's video where I shall share a happy mail from a lovely subscriber. And the beautiful treasure that I found. I have enough music paper now to last me a lifetime. And there is another box coming. <laughs> The lady that I bought it from, she had more. She's like, oh, I have another box. Um, so, yeah. Next time, I'm going to pick up the other box. Oops. Stay there, lovely. Yep. I wish, guys, I wish I had sort of the knowledge, the know-how, how to speed this up. Like, blah, 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 it's on there. Uh, I actually don't. Oh, look at this with all the A's. I don't read music, guys, so I'm probably saying all the wrong things about what's on here or putting it upside down. Um, however, however. I'm going to go like so. Yeah, why not? Uh, yeah, I'm going to do a little bit more. Finish it and then show you how I'm going to do it on the normal paper. Otherwise, this would get boring quickly. Unless you want to hear me yapping. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I can do a lot of blah, blah if you want me to. Yeah. Look at this again. This is a handwritten music. It's fantastic. Do I need to take a bit off? Or are you going to leave it? I'm gonna leave it. Bigger piece. Oops, have it straight. That'll be lovely. Yeah, this gonna be. Oh, there's. Oh no. I was like, there's already a piece there. No, there's not, lovely. Yep. Overlapping is quite alright. It's even preferable. Just overlap it. Now I'm using glue stick. You could also put glue on here. I just prefer to do it this way. And you could use collage medium if you want to. I am rubbish at collage medium. Does this fit? It will. Especially if I want to uh, put some inking and splattering decorating afterwards on it. It's it's a mess. So I'm not using the collage medium. What else do we have? Look at this. So pretty. So, so, so pretty. I want a piece. Yeah. Crescendo. That is a musical term. I know that much. <laughs> yeah. How how would you use I don't know. What would you use this for? <laughs> the background, I mean the, the, the original um scrapbook paper. Well for scrapbooking for sure. I'm not a real scrapbooker, so I'm like, well, I don't know. It'll make me dizzy. I do have the urge to get in my pencils and just color them. Like, you know, coloring. For grown-ups. Uh, do I have another piece that I have not used? Oh, this. Yeah. With a lovely number here. Two numbers. Well, let's have two numbers. Already oh, looks lovely, right? I think so. <laughs> I took out another glue stick. I know for sure I need another glue stick for this project. There we go. Fantastic. Well, guys, you know where I'm getting at, yeah? So I'm going to finish this. 
finished it. Pretty right? Yes, really like it. Oh, I need to cut it up. <laughs> I'm going to cut it up, guys. I'm going to let it dry for now. Uh, I use this as a glue page. So uh, now I'm going to put the other stuff on. Let's just see. This I'll probably use to make envelopes or small pockets or take off the lid, love. <laughs> or some other stuff um, that needs to have folds in them. So I'm making another big one. This one. Just random pieces. You could also, guys, alternate this with uh, book pages. Yeah. As long as it's sort of neutral. Neutral-ish. It'll be just fine. What's this upside down? I don't know, guys. I don't know what is upside down and what isn't. I have this at the top. Who? Well, for sure, like so. Yeah, sort of perfect. Coincidentally, uh, this. A page of an uh, encyclopedia. I used the other side because there was an image on there that I've used recently in one of my videos, like a couple of days ago, last week, where I told you, and this is an ant eater. No, it's not. <laughs> it's it's like I don't know if it, how you say this in English, a tapir, yes, uh, or a tapir, or I don't know how you call it because I've never heard anyone. Um, Speak that word out loud, so I have no clue, actually. But yes, you guys were very kind enough to correct me on this. <laughs> it was a tapir and not an ant either. And it was from this page, the other side. Yeah. So, a coincidence. I'm bound to make such mistakes, guys. If I don't even know the word in Dutch, how how would I use it in English? There we go. Putting this here. What else do we have already used? Piece of this. Oh yes, I love this. I love this with the numbers. Isn't that cool? It's just real pretty. Two of them. There you go. Well, very exciting to see me glue down pieces of paper. But we're going to make stuff with it. Yes, this needs a piece that goes that away. Do we have another small piece? Let's take some of this really old. Yeah, sure. Let's take this piece off. Oh, well, or this piece. See, it's so, so brittle, guys. There you go. So, yeah. I'm also going to finish this one. I'll probably, guys, if you don't mind, do another one of these and maybe even another one of these. Yeah? So, I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, already love them so much. I made three with the encyclopedia pages. Yeah? And then two um, with the scrapbook paper. It could be done. <laughs> it could be done. But we're not done. Uh, what did I uh, decide? These are going to be tags. Now, this is a 12 by 12. I'm going to make tags that are 3 by 6. Yes? So, loads. I'm going to cut this up. Then these are going to be journal cards. The journal cards I'm going to make 3 by 5. So, it will leave, um, it leave me a strip of this. But that's okay because you can make this into a belly band eventually. 
one of these I'm going to uh, make a sort of um, flip pockets with. Let me show you how I'm going to do this. going to be pockets that you can flip out of a journal. Yes, um, one of them is going to have a large envelope and then something with a piece that I have left. And these are going to be two coin envelopes. Yeah? Okay, let's start... Um, with the with the tags i'm taking out the mi big mr tim holtz cutter thingy that i do not recommend i'm sorry guys i had high hopes for this but this is in the way you don't know where to cut and no well you know stuff but that's okay it does work uh but i had high hopes i need to make them three by six so first off i'm going to cut this in half means i'm going to cut it at six inches is this a six inch mark i hope so hope so hope so press it and then also press it down with your hand if you do not do this then it will eat your paper yeah there we go i'm going to flip it guys because um that's a much easier way for me to cut okay three inches six inches long i'm going to have them all Three inches. One. It does cut. It's not bad. Um, but it does not do what I want a paper cutter to do. For more precise cutting. But it's probably just me. See? One, two, three, four. Gonna do that with this one as well. Now for the other one, um, let me see. This is going to be five inches by three. So I'm going to take off five inches this way. Yeah, probably this way, five inches. Is that five? Hoping it is five. Another five, just flipping it over. Look at all the polka dots. I have a strip left. This will make for lovely belly bands. And then these I'm gonna cut up at three again. Could also do four. I'm going to do one piece at three. So I'm going to cut these at three and I'm going to cut these at four. So they're a little bit bigger because why not? Because why not? Yes. So I'm going to have this size and this size. Great. Now for these ones, um, one of them I'm going to cut in half because I'm going to make coin envelopes. Now this is uh 10 and a half or 11 and a half let me quickly measure guys this was um 10 and a half so it needs to be five and some it doesn't really need to be in the middle five and a half makes 11 it's about yay much doesn't matter guys one of my coin pockets can be a little bit taller than the other one there, there will be no measure police anywhere. Yep. And there you go. And then this one, I want... Um, what did I want? Three and a half? Yes. I'm going to cut this at three and a half. I'm going to explain later why when I fold them. Oh, at three and a half, love. Yes, it is. It is at three and a half. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, me. Three and a half. Do you really want three and a half? Yes, that's, that was the idea. Three and a half. I'm going to leave this one longer. And then this, I want to have a square. So I'm going to take, because this is eight and a half, I'm going to take off. Oh, I'm going to put it at eight and a half. That's why I have this device. Uh, where? Well, here. Hello. Here. Measure it at eight and a half. Eight and a half, please. Yes, which leads me with this. Yeah? Okay. All the cutting done. Then let's, uh, well, 
make some tags. Look at this. I have loads. I have loads, guys. Uh, well, loads of these tags. Uh, journal cards in two sizes. This I'm going to keep as is and then turn it into a belly band. But I do not know the, the height yet. Then these I'm going to make into sort of small flip out pockets. I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to make a large envelope from this. No clue what I'm going to make with this. And these are going to be coin envelopes. Yeah. Um, let's start with the tags. I'm going to make these very simple, guys. I'm going to take off a corner. Do we want to use the template for this? Sure. I have a template. This is an old debit card or what sort of a card? A plastic card. And then I use this as a template. So cut this. Flip it over. And do the same. See? Okay. I'm just going to finish one, guys. I'm going to put a hole in the middle. Always eyeballing this. I don't measure. See? Like so. Now, I am going to put on a hole reinforce. I just want to make a, a sort of a pretty base that I can work with. These are very neutrals. Um, just going to put on a green one. Yeah, this darker green one. Just pretty. Let me get some glue. Do I have some tweezers? I probably do. You don't even need to do this, guys. You can just, you know, keep them as, as they are. And then, hello. <laughs> hello, Art. Yes, it's Monday. What have you been doing this weekend? Nothing. There you go. Keep them as they are and then just decorate them. Um... When you use them, of course. I'm going to leave this blank. Because I'll probably put some writing paper on it. So I'm just going to focus on the front. Uh, I will ink all around it. It's already so pretty. A little bit more on the corners. There you go. And I'm just going to put a simple topper thingy on. I'm just going to take out a piece of this twine, string, whatever. Again, very basic. Tada. Just a beautiful tag. Yeah? Okay, for the journal cards. You can keep them as they are. You can just snip corners. I'm going to round corners because that's what I love to do. Put it on a medium setting. I'm again inking. Do we want to do something fun with this? I think I want to do something fun with this. Well, first off, I need to glue this. <laughs> Help me out here, Art. There you go. Yeah. I think what I want to do, not necessary at all, totally sort of, you know, just came up with it. I'm just going to put two holes in there. Not necessary at all. Taking out... Well, hopefully two of the same, which will be tricky. Hello, two of the same. Oh, I have these. Two of these, just for fun. Because why not? Doesn't that look fun? Yes. Journal cards. Um, what else? Oh, the, the flip out uh, pocket thingy. Let me show you. Okay, flip out pocket thingy. Um, here's how I'm going to make it. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to fold this in, not all the way to the edge. I'm going to leave about half an inch. 
You don't even need to measure, guys. About half an inch. And fold it in. I am going to use a bone fold because this is now a couple of layers thick. Yes, there you go. You could sort of fold this. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to snip these. No reason at all. I just I just want to snip these. Snip these. Yes. Okay. Um, this is going to be the pocket. And let's say this is your page. Yes, this is a journal page. You're going to glue this here. And then you can glue this on a page like so. Yeah. And then you have sort of a flip out pocket thingy. That's the idea. But uh, I'm not going to glue it on a page as of yet, of course. And I want to do some inking. And I want to make um, sort of a notch here to show that there's a pocket there. I'm going to do it through both layers, hoping this is not too heavy for my... No, it'll work. See? So before I glue it, I'm going to ink it. And there you go. Also over here. And oh, let's do this one as well. Yes, you don't need to ink here because that's going to be glued down. go so I just need to put glue here and here there you go pocket flippy thingy cool right yeah I think so um the coin envelope well you see me make these a gazillion times i'm just gonna fold, hope hopefully it will work i'm gonna fold these in will that work well i need to re-glue a little bit already see this but that's okay this would not have been possible um with the scrapbook paper. I'm going to fold this in. There we go. Is that all straight? Careful because you can still rip the paper. I need to put some extra glue here. Yes. Now, I also need to fold this up. Will this work? Hopefully, it will. Could also use a, a scoreboard, guys. Just like half an inch, fold it up half an inch, sort of. See, it's cracking here. But well, that's why we have a base. Um, snippy here. Yes, at an angle. Cutting this up because there are two sort of rectangles at the end, guys. Just in case you've never seen me do this. Well, then probably you have, this is probably the first video you've ever seen by me. Because I make these all the time. Snipping these at an angle. I'm not going to make this with a flap. So I'm going to keep them as they are and make a notch on the top. Are you? Yes. Yes, I am. Oh, looks lovely though. Can you do this? Yep. Great. Are we inking? We are. It's going to overlap. This is going to overlap. I'm going to do this. And of course the front. Bit here, bit here, bit here. Everywhere. Okay. Putting glue on the outer edge here. There you go. Putting glue on the outer edge there. 
There we go. And then glue on this flap. There we go. Cute, right? Yeah. More ink in here? Yes. Great. Uh, one more left. Yes, the big envelope. Let me show you how to make the big envelope. I did do this just the other day. So you probably already know what I'm doing. You need a square. You need a ruler and a pencil. Do I have a pencil? I do. Yep. Just going to make a mark in the middle. Now this is actually now pretty heavy <laughs> because of all the layers, but I'm hoping it, it I'm hoping it'll still work. Yes, is that the middle? I don't I don't know what's going to be up or down. I'm hoping this will work, guys. I'm just gonna fold this over towards the middle. Yes, diagonally. Yeah, this this will happen, but that's okay. We can re-glue it. Here's one. Gonna fold this as well towards the middle. That's why we made the lines. Again, some of the paper is cracking. I'm okay with this. And then we need to fold this. I'm going to overlap it a little bit here, guys. So about half an inch. And put point it towards the line that we made. Oh, it will look awesome. I'm already going to tell you, it's going to look awesome. Yeah, same with this flap. Overlapping like half an inch. Pointing the line, the the, the sort of pyramid <laughs> towards the line. Oh, it's going to look awesome. Look at this. Love it. Yes, I need to re-glue this, but that's okay. This was very brittle paper to begin with, so... Yeah? Okay. Now, if you fold it open, you have like a sort of um, triangles over here. Take out your scissors just to cut them. Uh, if you happen to have an envelope punch with a notch, you can also try this. Let's see if it wants to cut through all these layers. It will. Now the inside of this envelope is not going to be anything special. You could line it if you want to. Let's see what is going to be the... I'm going to have it like so. Yeah. Okie dokie. Do we want inking? We want inking. I'm going to snip this off. Normally I fold it in. But because it's such heavy paper already. I'm just going to snip it off. There you go. Very adventurous. I don't normally do this. Yes. This needs inking. I always try to ink it before I glue it down, uh, guys. Um, much easier to do it like this instead of afterwards. More glue here. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Glue here, on this flap, all the way to the top. Yes, don't glue here. No. And glue here. And there you go. Yeah. Now, oh, I'm going to round this corner on the top. Not necessary, guys, but I like it. I just like a rounded corner there. See? And then you just ink it. Oh, I love these. Oh, I'm going to make more of these. Very sturdy envelopes. Really cool to put a uh, happy mail in or something like it. Oh, look at the front. I picked the best uh, piece of paper for this, for sure. Love everything on here. Just love it. Love, love, love it. There you go. Envelope. Was that it? Yeah. 
that's it we folded everything now uh what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make one more of these i'm gonna make a couple more of these yeah so i'll be right back all of them done all of them inked guys i had a strippy left and i made this it's just you know another sort of pocket thingy i just you know glued this up and then fold this down put a whole reinforcer and then you know i did this why not another pocket so um we did sort of did this one and then i did this i put a string through because of oh, very much cute i think i want to decorate these i think i'm gonna decorate some of them just to show you what you can do with them uh, and also i have a lot of these strippies left yeah and i want to do something with them told you i'm gonna do some stamping so that's what i'm gonna do i already did some guys just to test it out i had more strippies i just put label stamps on them cute right yeah so i'm gonna do that with this one as well i'm gonna try another color for the label stamps themselves i'm using the ones that come with the sample um dates of the past stamps because it has a couple of them on there uh, this is from two part two this one and with one you have one two three uh -huh. lots of uh stamps so that's what i'm gonna do um i put some green on here and on this one as well so i'm thinking already did some brown ones of course with fallen leaves so i'm gonna use some green rainforest rainforest and there you go now this probably will need to dry for a bit because it's sort of coated paper just cute i will stamp something in it of course yeah I think I'm just going to do one of each. There you go. Will this one still fit then? Hopefully it will. This one and the last one. Yes, it will fit. See? Lovely labels. Now, what are we going to stamp inside? And are we going to use the green? I think I'm going to use the green as well. Of course, we need numbers. Let's have a look. I took out some of the stamps that I might like. Um, I am going to use the green again. It's very dark green. It's almost like black or something. Let's see, this must fit here. Yes. It's probably French for important note. Really? Wow. <laughs> Let's see, I, I'm going to try to fit both of these in. I don't know if that'll work though, but I'm going to try. This is a date. Is this the right setup? Yeah. that worked Ooh, it's already lovely are you sure you want this on the bottom yes yes i'm pretty sure let's go there we go will it fit yes Ooh, yeah Oh, I like that one. Made my own. And then another double stamp. Carte postale is like postcard in French. Yeah. And in case you didn't know it was French, I'm going to put Paris 1889 underneath. There you go. This is another date. 
18 something. Will it fit? Yes, it will. And then there was one circle one on the on the sets. Just let's just use it. Am I in the middle? I'm hoping I am in the middle. You are not in the middle. Not even close to the middle. That's okay. Okay, I'm gonna let them dry. Cut them out. Fortunately, this fits the circle punch. So, yay. Cut out all the labels. Yes, they look amazing. And I think I want to decorate each of those. Yes, I have one tag, one journal card, one flippy pocket, uh, coin, po uh, coin envelope thingy, and this one. I'm not going to do the big one, guys. No, I'm going to leave the big one. So I'm going to do all of these. So I want to have this on here. Um, these already have hole reinforcers. Uh, and this one. So I also want to add some here. I'm thinking to just put... I don't know. These on there. Like so. And then put a st another string too. Yeah, sure. Why not? And then something in brown over there. Can we find two of the same? These ones. Come, I'm going to find another one of these. Yes, in brown. Yeah. I'm going to add these here. So I have two brown ones, three green ones. Yep. Um, what else am I going to do? I'm going to do some background stenciling. I've taken out Esther's uh, stencils again. <laughs> because I just love them. So I'm going to use... I'm not going to use the... Well, maybe. I think I want to use these. Because this looks interesting, right? So I want to do some background stenciling. I need a focal point. For the focal point, I am using a rub-on. Because I do not feel like fussy cutting anything. <laughs> So I'm going to use some of these rub-ons. Yes, I have two brown ones, uh, which will correspond well with some of the mushrooms. And then the green ones will have the, the foliage. Yeah, great. Cut out all the images that I want to use. Paired them with the labels. I put these on and then just a lovely string too. And here, just another sort of topper. Why not? Why not? Now, I need to do some background stenciling. Um, I've took out... The ones from Elizabeth Craft Designs from Esther, Esther Floss. S049 Planner Stencils, number four. Now, I've already used a couple of them. These three I did not use yet. So, let's, let's just. Um, I'm going to start with this one here in the middle. What do we want to do? I think I'm going to do a little bit of this. A little bit of this. I need a page in the background. What color am I using? Um, a brownish color, but a rather dark one. I think I'm going to go um, ground espresso. Ground espresso. Oh, why not? Why not? Let's see. A little bit over here. Here. Some on this edge. that enough oh that's enough oh i like it like it let's do this one the next one i'm thinking to have uh, something with numbers or letters and numbers just a three four five i'm just gonna do it like so let's do three four five. Oh, this is on me there you go Three, four, five. I need a smaller brush for this. Cute, right? Yeah. Three, four, five. This here. Do we want something here? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, G H. <laughs> I'm not going to make it very difficult for myself. I'm not going to spell out words. No, I'm just going to put this on. Yeah. See? Lovely. 
what else well they did this one i have this one this looks so interesting right yeah um i'm just gonna do this careful of don't rip it Oh, ooh. yes, love that one. I have this one here on the bottom. Yeah. How cool is this one? Maybe a tiny bit over here. Um, what bit? Oh, this bit. Just this. Yep. This one. Oh, what's this that we want? More of, uh, some more of these. A little bit over here in the corner. Again, I want to do these. These are not stencil, love. Ooh! Almost looks like a leopard print or something. Let's put a bit on piano here. Where it says piano. Yeah, great. Last one. What is it that we want here? For some reason, I think I'm going to go with the florals already used that one i know but i really like them i'm just going to have it in the corner here and a bit over here Yeah. Yep, that'll do. That'll do. Okay. Um, I'm going to rub all of these on, guys. Let's look at the end result, guys. I really like it. Now, let's start with the tags. I just decorated the first one. Yes, and I have all of these left to decorate. So these are actually sort of bases that I will keep separately. Hopefully somewhere inside that I can remember that I have them and use them uh, in other projects. Yeah. And then put uh, a piece, if you want to, you can put some writing paper on the, on, writing paper on the back. Look, yeah, cute, right? I think so. I like them. Uh, I forgot how difficult it is to use rub-ons on antique paper. Um, you put the rub-on on and actually it sort of takes off the paper. Yeah, so want my advice? Do not use rub-ons on antique paper. Use a fuzzy cut. And then I have all the, um, the journal cards. I have two sizes. I have the 5x4s. Is it 5x4s? Yes, some 5x4s. And then 5x3s. Uh, and I just decorated this. Yeah, guys, this is just decoration. It doesn't... Well, you could sort of hang... I don't know. It doesn't have any pur purpose other than pretty... And then the flap out pockets, yeah, you glue this to a page and then you can flap it out, flip it over, whatever you want. And this is the decoration. Again, this is just decoration, doesn't keep the pocket closed or anything. I just, you know, wanted to use my whole reinforcers. Yep, I had a piece left and I made this pocket thingy. Yes, uh, the robins really didn't work on this one. You can see it just, it ate a bit, but that's okay. Looks great anyway. Uh, also with this, with the mushrooms. The mushrooms just didn't work for some reason. Uh, I put this topper on. It will hold the pocket closed. So that's, that's also a bonus. And have a couple more. And then the big one, isn't that pretty? Yes, I still need to decorate it. Yeah. And then I had some, I have also have a belly band left that I probably use somewhere. 
and all of these uh, labels that I need to stamp something in. Something in. Guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a go. Um, if you don't have any music paper, that's okay. Try book pages or anything else. Just make lots of bases that you can keep uh, well inside. Otherwise, you would forget. And then take them out if you need to make a tag or a pocket or a what have you. Yes. Guys, that's it for today. I'll be back again this Wednesday with another project. No clue what. Let's let's find out. Um, I will get a, probably get a lot of questions about the hole reinforcers. Elizabeth Craft Designs, guys. This is from Elizabeth Craft Designs. It's hole re no, reinforcement pack one and two. And also probably from the stencils again. Um... Elizabeth Craft Designs S049. Love these. Absolutely love these. Was that it? That's it, guys. I'll see you Wednesday. Until then, bye-bye.